Hey guys, so I'm coming to you from my tea cupboard. Um, I thought it'd be fun to do like a tea collection. I did one uh, like back in September. It's been a really long time and stuff has obviously changed and I thought it would be fun to show um, what I currently have in my tea collection and I thought it would come from the cabinet just so you can kind of see what it looks like. And yeah, I'll just go over everything. Hopefully this style of filming works out. Okay. So obviously I have way too much stuff. Um, I put like boxes of tea on this end and then all my like loose leaf teas and pretty much loose leaf teas or anything that's not really in a box I put in the middle. Um, yeah, so I'll start with my boxes of tea. So I kind of sort them um, in order of caffeine contents. So I have my black teas and green teas and then a bunch of herbal teas towards the back. So for black tea, I have the Two Leafs Organic Asm tea. I love this one. I've gotten it multiple times. It's just a really great black tea. And then I also have for black tea, actually, I haven't opened this one yet. I got this when I was in New York, but this is my Leaf Orange Dulce, and I've had this before and really love it. Um, it's just a great black tea. If you want something with a little bit extra or a little bit of flavoring, this is really nice. Then I have a ton of green teas. The two that I have, actually, yeah, two that I have in boxes include the Numi Toasted Rice. I love this one. But I tend to always buy green teas and not drink them when I'm at home. So I've been slowly taking some of the little tea bags to work of this, but I really love this tea. It's really different, um, but it is a green tea, so you do get caffeine with it. But if you haven't tried like a rice toasted rice or sort of, sort of rice tea, they are really nice. So really like that. Then I have this green tea. This is a green tea ginger twist. Um, really nice. I actually had this today. The ginger adds like a nice um, like element to it. And this is by Argo Tea. And then the rest of the teas that I have in boxes are all herbal teas. The first are two mint tea. Oh my gosh, just fell out. But um, this is my one of my mint teas. This is the Tazo Refreshment. And I really love mint teas for like after dinner. So I really like this one. Just a good like basic mint tea. And I think my favorite mint tea is my next one I'm gonna show. This is the Numi Moroccan Mint. And I love this stuff. I've gone through ton of boxes of this but it's just not too overpowering if you don't like super minty teas this is really nice um so that is definitely a must-have and then the rest are all of my yogi teas so i have um relaxed mind which is a lavender tea and i've talked about this before i love lavender teas so i have a few boxes of this and then I have a few boxes of the Honey Lavender Stress Relief. Love that one as well. Let's see. So another Relax Mind. Um, I usually find these at Target. Um, and whenever I see them, because I, like my grocery store, they don't carry them. So whenever I do see them, I usually stock up on them. Another Honey Lavender. Oh, this one is the bedtime tea from Yogi. I don't have this one all the time, but if I'm feeling like stressed or I can't go to sleep or if it's a night where I'm like, I really need to go to sleep early um, or I just like know that I'm going to have trouble falling asleep, sometimes I do. You know, especially like when you feel like you have to go to bed by a certain time, it doesn't ever work. But this has chamomile, which I think works really well for sleep time. What else does it have? Licorice root, spearmint. It just is supposed to be very calming. So I kind of save this for um, when I really want something to help me fall asleep. Um, what else do I have? I think another honey lavender. 
And then the final two in the back, the final two boxes back here. This is Yogi Throat Comfort. I really love this. Um, back in like December, January, I was like sick a lot. So this was really nice, but it is something that I would only be using when I'm sick. So hopefully I don't have to use that anytime soon. And then I also have, this is from Traditional Medicinals. This is the Throat Coat Lemon Echinacea Tea. So again, something I use when I'm sick. I do prefer the Yogi one over this, but definitely love something like that when I'm sick. So now I guess I'll go through the ones that are in my loose leaf teas, um, just kind of all my random ones. So, um, let's see, let me start with my black teas, that might make sense. So I have this from Sullivan's Tea, it's a tea, little tea shop in Greenwich Village in New York. You can order online, but they, I love that store, it's so cute. So this is their Irish breakfast, it's in a canister. And these are like loose leaf teas, but they're in little, I don't think I can open it. Oh, got it. So this is what the tea bags look like. I love this, it's so easy to use, but you still get like loose leaf tea. Um, this one is really good. And usually I have black tea every morning, but I keep tea at work, so I'll, um, like make black tea when, once I get to work, but on the weekends I can enjoy, like have more time to enjoy black tea. This is another Sullivan Street black tea, and I just used a tea canister, like repurposed one. It is their Sunrise Ceylon. Um, I also really like that. Um, let's see. Oh, I think this is my last black tea. This is a Harney and Sons. And this is the Paris tea, and it comes in this really cute packaging. And this, again, is the same sort of like loose leaf, but in like these little mesh like tea bags, which I really love um, that. Super easy to use, but you still get really good quality tea. So really love that. And this is more of a kind of flavored tea, kind of mm, like citrus in black tea. So really like that oh i have another black tea now i'm remembering as i'm moving things out of the way so this is from david's tea i did get it when i was in new york this is the earl's garden it's an earl gray tea with strawberries raspberries and black currant i love this um i've been drinking it like on the weekends i've always wanted to drink it in the morning it is so good i really love the fruity flavors of it and this is just a loose leaf tea, so I have to use a little like mesh um, tea, like, what do you call those? Tea ball things, but this is what it looks like. You can kind of see like the little like fruit pieces and floral pieces. This one is so nice. That's definitely one of my favorites and definitely a recent favorite. So, I think that's all for black teas. I will move on to green teas next. And I always buy green teas, but I don't know, at home, especially, like when I get from home from work, especially since I can't always fall asleep, like caffeine really affects me. I don't really drink green tea at home unless it's the weekends, I always drink it at work. So, I have so much green tea and it's like I don't really want to bring like loose leaf tea to work that's just too much of a hassle so I need to just stop buying green teas and use up what I have but yeah no, I have quite a bit so let's see I have this one this is McNulty's which I got in New York this is peach um, flavored green tea this is great I love peach um, green tea this is another loose leaf one but I don't know I just really love peaches and that flavor with green tea I think works really nicely so really been enjoying that um, I have this from David's tea this I got like a year ago when I went to New York um, this is the lime gelato and it straight up has like a creamy like flavor and a lime flavor you don't really get much of a green tea from it. It's very much flavored, but it is really good. And I love the packaging of this. So cute. Um, 
What else do I have for green tea? I feel like a lot of these I haven't opened. Mm, okay. I think the rest I haven't even opened, which is ridiculous. So, this is an unopened one. See, this is why I need not do not need any more green tea. This is um from Lupicia. I don't know how to say the brand's name, but this is Essentia Yam. Don't know. Haven't even opened this one, but I love this brand. Um, and I I need to I need to finish up some of my green teas and start using some of these. This one is from Tazo. It's China Green Tips, and it's in like a tin packaging. This is what they're like loose leaf ones. Um, I do really like this. I have had this before. I just haven't opened this tin yet. I have another one from the same Lupicha brand. This is Kaj, Kaja Bush. I can't pronounce any of these words, but you can see what it is. Um, another green tea that I haven't opened. I really need to get on and open some of these. Like for some of them, I don't want to open and have it like not be as good. So I'd rather like use things up and then open it. Um, and this is, this is my last green tea. This is also from Sullivan Street. I got in New York. This is Japanese Banka. And I've had this before. This one is very nice. Kind of a smokier, or earthier flavor. Um, really great green tea. Um, I guess this is a green tea. I do have some, like, little random, like, one-off ones. This is from Tea Forte, and it's their... The, like little triangles of tea um but this is a green mango peach again I should try this another peach tea see how I like that one um okay so I guess the rest are kind of random so I got this one okay I don't know how to say this word either gusea it's a lavender which I like lavender tea but this is energized energizing but it's lavender so it's sort of weird because I use lavender for like relaxation but this is very energizing but have that we need to use that as like iced tea or something it might work a little better I have this from Sullivan Street this is a white melon so white tea so a little bit of caffeine very kind of soft subtle tea really like that um, and oolong, this is the only oolong I've ever tried, again from this brand, I'm not going to try the name, but an oolong tea, very nice, very, um, how do I describe, like, different than a green tea, um, but, I don't know, I would definitely recommend it if you haven't tried an oolong, um, I don't know how widely available they are, like, at the grocery store, but I really like that one. And then another David's tea. This one I always forget about to drink because um, I have all of my Yogi Lavender teas. But this is David's tea. It's orga Organic Serenity now. It does have lavender. Uh, I haven't used this as much. It's kind of like rose hips, lavender, some um, fruity flavors as well. Um, when I got this, it was recommended that it might be good in like a lemonade. So maybe I should try that one as well or maybe iced. In here, I have my only tea bomb tea. I don't know. I've never been like a big tea bomb person. I don't know why. Um, but this is their um, pineapple Kona Kona pop. Very good, like pineapple tea. I really love this one iced though. I don't really like it as much when it's hot. But that one's a great one for like summer. Um. Okay, I do have this box of tea. It's kind of a different, like, rectangular shape, so I keep it on the other side. But this is Lemon Zinger Herbal Tea from Celestial Seasonings. I really like this if I have, like, a sore throat. Um, so I did get this when I was six. Haven't used that one in a while. Um, and then this is a sampler from Two Leaps that I got. I've had a lot of the teas, but... Like, I have multiple of these green teas. Um, it's their organic tamakucha. Um, I have multiples of those that I should just keep in here. But then I have a few other, um, a green, tropical green, earl gray, jasmine petal. 
Um, so just keep those in this box. I should go through this so I don't have this bulky box taking up space. Um, I have some Bath & Body Works candle holders that I cleared out and just put some random teas. I have like a decaffeinated English breakfast, which, okay, I need the caffeine from it. That's why I'm drinking it. Um, these Harney & Sons. This is white vanilla grapefruit. That's a nice white tea. I think white tea is good if you just want a little bit of caffeine or it's later in the day and you're not wanting something super caffeinated. Another from this brand, the Lupicha. This is their afternoon tea. I should use that as well. No Lipton. And just kind of random. Um, a chai tea. This is from Revolution Tea. Um, Bombay chai tea. It's just a little size of it. I'm not the hugest fan of chai teas. I love chai tea lattes, but not so much just straight up chai tea. Um, and what else do I have in here? I have some honey, um, like a little cute honey. I think my mom got this at a hotel. No, I don't. Or like, I don't know, something like, she picked it up somewhere. But just a little cute honey. And then she made me like lavender honey, like honey infused with lavender. I don't use honey that often. I use it more if I'm sick. Um, but a lot of teas I don't need to have flavored this is a tea um, by where my parents live. My mom gave it to me. I can't even open this. Maybe I should like give her some of these back. And then I just have like this, like just just a standard like honey, which I, I have too much that I don't use. Um, and then I have this cup is really nice. Like you can just put like your tea bag in there, and then you can pull it through the side so that um it's not in the water anymore so that's really nice and then i got the ones in the back for my mom um these are how you're supposed to drink oolong tea when i got the oolong tea it came with this little um cups oh i i don't know they're kind of fun to use but i normally don't really use those um these from david's tea I don't know, my mom bought a pack of these so you can take like loose leaf tea and like put it in these and make your own tea bags. Some spoons for tea and then I have, I have another one of these like tea infuser things but this one I got when I was in Germany. Um, we went to Neuschweinstein, I think I'm saying that wrong. It's like the castle in Germany that's like the snow, I'm Sleeping Beauty castle. <laughs> Um, but this was in the gift sh shop, so got that from there. And then randomly, I have these from Trader Joe's, these dark chocolate pomegranate seeds, which I thought I would have with tea, but actually having it on the shelf, I haven't had them because I feel like, ooh, I want to save them for something special, which I don't really know what I'm saving them for, but have those as well. And yeah, that is my tea covered. Um, yeah, I have a bunch of stuff and this is showing me that I really need to try to get through some of this stuff and kind of figure out some ways to use some of these, maybe like iced teas as I was saying with some of them. And yeah, but yeah, guys, that's everything. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.